Hey YouTube, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today's subject is one that I, uh, I'm gonna pretty much turn over to you, the Convo Gang. Be sure to hit, uh, <laughs> hit that bell. Be part of the Convo Gang, the Conversation Gang. I wanna know what you think about the best home for the beneficial bacteria in your tank. This is the third installment of my beneficial bacteria videos. And uh, you know, some people, for them, only the best will do. And they'll spend money on um, on things like your biohome ultimate, on your uh, marine pure, uh, you know your Sermedia from Marine Pure, and uh, and something I, I stumbled across the other day uh, these uh, Brightwell uh, NO3 sulfur infused uh, blocks. Uh, you know sometimes you look to the salt salt water keepers to see what they're doing, and uh, I saw this at one of the. Uh, uh, reef reef keepers uh, sites looks pretty interesting. I have some of the cubes in the stunt in the sump behind me right now And I'm gonna probably get this block and put it into the middle section of my sump and see what that does But uh, my point is this. What do you think? I mean you could use pumice garden grow stones You can use lava rock You can use uh, scrubby sponges those uh, uh, untreated non-toxic be sure they don't have any soap but you can use those all of these provide a lot of surface area or you can go high-end so you can uh, sort of slum your uh, slum your bacteria or you can uh, put it in a uh, in a home of the rich and famous so it's really uh, I really want to get what your opinion is do you think that spending a couple hundred dollars in in the biomedia as opposed to let's say spending uh, $20 or $25 for a bag of pumice or some lava rock that you break up and put into your uh, filter if you really feel that this high-end media is really worth it. I'm running uh, Biohome Ultimate, I'm running uh, I'm running some Marine Pure, I have some of the Brightwell cubes uh, as I mentioned earlier. I do have some of the high-end but I also have pumice uh, in in one of my filters in the uh, FX uh, six, and I also have some very inexpensive plastic balls that have sponge squares inside of them. So uh, I go the whole spectrum, and I've gotten good results with all of them. The fish in the tanks that have those medias are all doing great. So what's your opinion? I want to hear it. Talk about it below. Let me know. Does it make a difference if you put your beneficial bacteria in high-end media, or do you think any kind of uh, substance that provides some good surface area will do the trick? All right, I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Thank you so much for tuning in.